Hi ladies. I'm back with you again in the same night. You know that is good. Fantastic. But listen, this I wanted to show you something. You know I'm always good for how to find things and how to make things. But listen, I ran across this channel that showed you ladies how to make lipstick, lip balm, and also lip gloss from a crayon. A crayon. You see this color I have on right here? I have made I put them in these little tubes right here and I made little lipsticks different color lipsticks I've also made me a cute little case of course I'm so creative <laughs> Probably can hold it better when you can see the color better with the case. See? see those different little colors I made? All with crayons, lady. So I'm not going to hold too much because I barely can get my other video that I made on here. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what you need. Hopefully, it can get you good to make this. And oh, ladies, it's endless. Crayons, I, I prefer Crayola non toxic crayons. And I ran across this lady because, ladies, because I noticed a lot of lipsticks that we buy have lead in it. Oh my gosh. I mean, seriously, I got it when I didn't have you guys on here, of course. Okay, hopefully, you guys can see it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to get started. I know this looks crazy, but this is the quickest way to melting this real quick. No, it's not drugs or anything like that. This is to melt all of our ingredients. This is what I got. Need a little tea candle, a little burner, a little cup. I got this from the dollar store, this from the dollar store. This right here I got from um, Walmart. You can use oil. You can use any oil. I prefer olive oil to give the shine. Pencil sharpener. Fiber pencils. I empty. This is empty. See? Empty tube. Here's the cap. Here's the top. I got this from TKB Trading. Matches. Shea butter. And that's our ingredient. So, ladies, let's get started. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. I'm getting ready right now to start my fire for my candle. I get the cut. Well, oh, I did terrible. What did that foot do? My goodness. Oh. I can't like just think some rushing and I hate that because you too I wonder what's up with their videos sometimes slip it in ladies that's all you do see it there you go This is not for children to do because you have to work with matches and you also have to touch this and it's also hot. Okay, in the meanwhile, ladies, I do not do measurements, okay? Which I should, but I don't. But what I usually do, okay, I'm using this as a tool. Just a little bit. One. Two. Three. Three little nice little scoops. Let that melt down, ladies. Okay? Close that up. Keep that fresh. This right here, ladies. I got this from TKB Trading. It's a little measuring 0.5 on here. And I take my oil. 
Now, ladies, if you want the pigment, the crayon is no more than just a pigment color. So, I like for my lipstick to shine. I take one. I really like to shine. So, if you really don't like to shine too much, use this one scoop of this, ladies. Don't be greedy with it because I'm telling you, you're going to have more of the shine and less of the pigment color. Okay? TK B trading. I'm waiting right now. It's melting. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to use this color crayon. This one right here I showed you, but this is the color that I want right here. You unpeel it. So let's see if it has some type of time when I'm done. Really doesn't take long, ladies. Hopefully, if I can get it all, ladies, I'm going to have to do a part two. I usually don't try to do part twos, but see this right here? Let's get this to melt. Let me see if I still, see like I still got a little bit of oil in here. still haven't melt yet. My kids popsicle stick. I sure I'm using taking this for good use. Usually ladies I put the little teacup tea candle in here and let it kind of get this warm a little bit before you put it in here because it'll go much more fast. But ladies you'll be amazed of how fun this is making those colors you know, lipstick sometimes can cost up to nine, twelve, fifteen dollars, and this is great ingredients because this is a recipe that I have found to be fantastic. They have other recipes on YouTube that you can use to get the same conclusion. But you know, um, I've seen some when they use Vaseline oil, and the only thing about now, if you want to make lip gloss, like my daughter, she's going to be doing a video. On how to make lip gloss it's, it's you know it's easy for a child to make it's getting there you would like for the shea butter to melt down to it's clear not till it's yellow I just keep stirring it around to kind of like help it along a little bit so this is your shea butter I use olive oil Um, I have seen them use castor oil. That's okay too. Because it's mostly the oil, you know, the oil is going to separate the pigments. That, you know, it's not coming. Because if you don't use any oil, ladies, it's going to come. It's going to fall right back up to like a crayon. And you're going to be trying to put something on your lips that just won't budge from being a crayon. You want this to be very clear, lady ladies very clear you know what I got everything but my paper towel you do need this Oops. there we go definitely need paper towel I mean towel because I like to be neat with what I'm doing okay I'm gonna pick up the camera just to show you see needs to be clear like this ladies you take I'm trying to work with one hand that's gonna be it that's gonna amaze me too see that it's my crayon I'm gonna try to pop it twice see I dropped it in there ladies I dropped that in there too Let's see if we can work professional like this, ladies. No, and I'm not professional, but let's see. Might be kind of jacked up, but at least you get my hint. Time to make it right, like I said. Let it melt a little bit. See that color? Kind of stir it around so it can go evenly around with those oils.
See that color going in there? And that's the ingredients, ladies. Shea butter, oil, crayon. That's all you need. And you need a refill pencil. Like I said, T tkbtrading.com has those supplies they have a lip you can take an old lipstick tool, tube and what you want to do is clean it with alcohol you know something that you might have old or something that you might ran out don't run it away or even if you want to take your lipstick and make it new again you could do the same thing instead of throwing it out Look at that color change, lady. Look at that. Look at that. See that? I'll give you an example. Let me see if it'll allow me to see my hand. See that, ladies? See if you can see that color and that shine. See that shine? That's from your oil. Same as lipstick. And that's from a crayon, ladies. I have to make sure that all that crayon mix in there. Usually I'm holding this like this as I stir, but because I'm trying to let you see exactly what's going on, you know it's going to be like, so I'm trying to see if, see, see that little crayon that's still, uh, 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 see, that's what we get trying to multitask, huh? <laughs> I know I'm going to have to put it down in a second because our next step we need two hands here. And it absolutely has to melt. We can't have little chunks in it. Ladies, when I found out how to do this, oh my gosh, I was making all types of colors. And how I found my little container that I decorated, I went to Michael's. They give you 40 and 50% off coupons that you could go to where they sell their little containers over by the bead department. And you can go and get you at, it was $9.99 and I used my 50% off and I got it for $5. And you know, you can decorate it any type of way you want. Alright ladies, I believe, see, look, look. See? And you want to do this and you don't want it to bubble. You just absolutely don't want it to bubble, ladies. Whatever you do, don't let it bubble. Okay, excuse the camera because I'm trying to put it back so you can kind of see me. Okay, ladies. Okay, we want to take it off. You can do it one more with two hands. So I know that I know. Okay. These little tools come in handy. You know, just everyday little tools. Taking it off. Setting it to the side, ladies. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. You would like for this to be tipped just a little bit, ladies. Find any, any object that you can use to tip it. Okay. All right. Let's try to hurry up. Alright, almost 15. You take this. This is where this is going to come in handy, okay? And you want to take it and you want to suck it up. You want to suck it all the way up to as much as in the cup. So you start with it down. You put it in a little bit. And as you see it go down, then you just, you know, place the rest of it all the way at the bottom. And then it pretty much suck it up on its own. All 
right, ladies. That's it. That's all of it. See that? It's all gone. This is what it looks like in a tube. So we want this to cool down for a little while. No more than about what? Maybe one, two minutes. Okay? T until it comes out like a little paste. When you pull it out, it'll be pasty. Right now, if I took it and pulled it out, it'll be running. Okay? Clean up my area. I hate working on crafts when I got everything looking a hot mess. I can't work like that. This one made like an old lipstick tool. You can clean it, but it's not, you know, finished yet. So I'm not going to destroy something that's not finished. Okay. So not cool now yet. I'm going to go ahead and blow this out because I'm not going to. No, you know what? I'll keep it just in case. And if you feel like before you pull it in here, ladies, says it's lumpy, you always place it back on there, stir it, melt it down again. Okay, ladies, I'm going to have to cut this off. This is the end of part one.